Good morning, I'm here at Chicago Union Station because I am catching a Lincoln service down to Bloomington Normal so I can ride around on Connect Transit. Alright, pretty smooth ride. I uh, made it to Uptown Station and Normal. Now I just gotta figure out where to buy the bus pass. It looks like over here. All right, they're cash only, so I gotta stop by the ATM real quick. All right, got my pass. Uh, pretty standard looking, it looks like. Uh, I think there's a bus in five minutes, the bus that I need to grab. day pass but it turns out they're running fair free right now so so did you need that also this bus has dots I have cords I got these things I think it's press All right, that was a pretty quick ride. Um, that was apparently a battery electric bus. Uh, it sucks that it was completely dotted. Um, and I can't really see out of the windows, but you know, what can you do? So the next route I'm taking is the silver, and that is every hour. I could catch the 12.15, but I'm gonna eat lunch first, and then I'll catch the 1.15. Um, at this cool place called Rosie's uh, Pub and Grill, just down in downtown Bloomington. Um, so that was a really quick, nice ride. Um, the green room is about every half hour on the weekends, uh, about every 15 minutes on the weekdays. I'll put the uh, frequency up here. Um, so, you know, not the best, but not too bad. My, my bus wasn't really that busy. There were maybe about six people on it at a time. Um, the next route I'm taking is the silver one, or the silver route. Uh, and that's every hour. Um, I don't remember if it's better on the weekdays. Again, I'll put the frequency right over here. Every hour is not great, <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so it's about 12.35ish, 12.40, so I still got some time before the bus. Um, so I'm probably gonna walk around, uh, take a look at downtown Bloomington, see if there's anything cool around. All right, bus stop review. Uh, we got a shelter and a sign. Uh, that's about it. There's nothing that tells you what route actually stops here. So you kind of have to just figure that out, I guess. Over there, I'm pretty sure is the stop for the silver line or silver route, um, which doesn't even have a shelter. It's just some benches. And again, a unhelpful sign. This is the downtown transfer center. That's what they call it on their maps and schedules. So, you know, you would think there would be something to tell you what buses stop where. So you could figure out where to catch your next bus. This is where I got off the green line. So, so this one has a sign for the Lime Express, but only the Lime Express and not any of the other routes that stop here. Ooh, I can press the button to make the lights go all flashy. Aren't I special? There's some pretty cool buildings down here.
Why are like all of their buses dotted? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I get, you get the advertising revenue, but like it's just, let us look out the windows. After going to the zoo, I was planning on taking the silver route back and then taking the green line. But I might take the red because it also goes there and it goes a different route. Um, you know, it might be fun to ride another route. Um, not that it matters because all the buses have dots so we can't see out the window. All right, so that was one o'clock. All the buses left there, I think it was like, there's red, gold, green, maybe one other. But of course the silver uh, comes at every 15 minutes past the hour. I don't know why they didn't time it so it's also on the hour, um, but you know. My chariot approaches. Ooh, these have fancy fabric seats. Here's a better view of the informational screen. We also got the LED thing up there. This bus is different. They actually have the uh, cords and stuff like that. And the fabric seats. I, I like fabric seats. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, gotta uh, walk on over to the zoo. Funnily enough, the uh, the stop they label for the zoo, I think, is a bit of a longer walk to the entrance than the one I got off at. But maybe it's nicer to pedestrians because that's like a four-way stop. Uh, not pleasant to cross. All right, so it was free. Let's take a walk around. Well, that was a fun, quick little romp around the zoo. Um, I'm gonna wait for the Silver Line back to downtown Bloomington, and then I'm gonna take the red. switch out. Um, basically all the routes are getting new drivers, uh, but nobody has come uh, to, get on, to take over the red, so we're trying to figure out where the guy is. The relief driver did never show up, so uh, the original driver is going to do another run. Alright, so what did I think of Connect Transit? I'm going to be talking about four different aspects uh, of the system. There are some aspects like, you know, routes, where the routes go, you know, where the stops are that I'm not going to talk about because I don't know the system that well. So I'm just going to be talking about my experience that I had today. So first off, the actual buses, the vehicles themselves. I would say four out of five. They were clean, they, they seemed new, they seemed, you know, they, they were good, they were all right buses. 
Uh, the only reason I'm taking a point off is because all of them had dots. Uh, I'm not as big of a hater of dots as some people, um, but I would have liked to at least been able to look out of the windows and see a clear view. Uh, so I'm taking a point off for that. Up next is the actual stops. Uh, one out of five. Um, most stops just had a sign that said connect transit and had no other information, no route information, what buses stop there, when they stop there. It's just the logo and that's it. Um, some of them had benches, some of them had shelters, but you know, information, actually actual information about the bus route and bus system was minimal to non-existent. Um, so it's the extremely bare minimum in my opinion. You gotta at least have something there. So one out of five. Next up is frequency. So I came here on a Saturday, so it's the weekend and obviously frequencies aren't gonna be as great as they are on the weekdays. Not saying that's how it should be, but that's just how it usually is. Half hour, hourly, you know, it's not the greatest. Um, it's really the kind of schedules that you have to plan around instead of you can just kind of go out and expect a bus in like 10 to 15 minutes. You kind of have to be like, okay, the bus is coming at this time, so I'll go, I'll leave now. You know, you have to plan around it. Obviously on the weekdays are a bit better. You know, some are 15 minutes, some are 30 minutes. Um, but overall, I'm gonna say two out of five. They're not great and they definitely could be better. But with that being said, on time performance, I'd have to say five out of five. Um, the buses always showed up when they said they were going to, you know, I was able to do all my transfers, so the buses were on time, which, you know, it's not that hard when you're only running, you know, like one bus on a route and it's like hourly, but, you know, they showed up on time and they were on time and yeah, I had no issues with that at all. Again, I think the main thing just holding it back is the frequencies. I think if they just had, you know, just add a, like one more bus to these routes every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes would be miles better than what it is right now. Yeah, I think if you're able to be flexible and schedule around the buses, I think it's a good system uh, if it stops where you need to go. So just, just run more buses, Connect Transit, and you'd be great.